Hey guys, Wisteria Moon here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play a really cool game called Transfer Mice. Now, a lot of you have probably heard about this before because it's very popular among people who play Animal Jam. Um, I guess it's got that similar theme with like the fact that it's animals, well, even though they're all mice. Um, and there's also like items and a little bit of a status, I guess. Like, you know, with Animal Jam, you get status for collecting rares, but with here, um, your status kind of comes from um, your accomplishments in the game. But anyways, um, yes, this game, uh, a lot of people tried to get me to play it and I didn't really want to, but finally my friends convinced me and I thought it would be boring, but it was actually really fun and I sort of play this more than Animal Jam now. So I decided it would be cool to get some new people to play it and now maybe I can make videos about it on my channel. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, well, let me go to full screen first so we can get rid of that ad. The first thing you're going to do is um, follow the link in the description um, that will allow you to join the game. Um, if you were an existing player, you'd put your username here and your password here. And this was the one that I was playing on before, but um, anyways, but if you're new, you want to uh, you want to click create account. So right now, I'm just going to make a random account. About Clark is cool. That should work. And do a random password and hit submit. So now you're going to agree to the terms and we'll just wait for it to load. Alright, so now we are in the tutorial. Now, first, I'm just going to briefly describe what this game is all about. I'm going to do my best to explain it. It's kind of, there's kind of a lot to it. It's sort of simple, but like there's a lot to keep track of. Okay, so basically, um, in each round, okay, each round is about two minutes long, depending on what kind of round it is, and your time is up here. So in that two minute period, your goal is to get the cheese and return it to the hole. Now, <laughs> it's not really as simple as it sounds though, because a lot of times you have to wait for um, people to help you get it, and those people are called shamans. But we'll get into that in a little bit. So right now, let's follow this tutorial. You use your arrow keys to move. So you know, left or right arrow key goes right, left arrow key goes left, and up to jump. And the down button doesn't really do much, but when you're swimming, it makes you dive. So yeah, let's jump up, grab this cheese and bring it back to the hole. And now we're done. So that was basically all there was to the tutorial. Um, it's not really that helpful, which is why I'm doing a tutorial myself. So now we are in a room. Um, we just got put into a random room, a vanilla room. And I will talk about rooms in a little bit, but I, now we're just going to wait for this round to end, and then a new one will start, and we can finally get that cheese into the hole, and I can explain a little bit more about the game. So, here we are, and now we're going to run. So for this round, you know, every round is kind of different, and for this one, um, we had to grab the cheese from the shaman, which was that mouse with the blue title, and now that we got it, we return to the hole and we get some points to level up with and yeah you want to get to a higher level because that helps you um, improve your shamaning and stuff like that which we'll get into later but I'm just gonna do a couple rounds here so that you can see what this is like so um, now we have this water round and we have to wait okay see this shaman the, the one in blue, they're the one that is going to help us get that cheese. Um, we can't just jump up and get it because it's too high, but even if we did, that would be bad because um, when you have cheese, you sink. Um, well, like, you sink in the water. Not on land, of course, but yeah. So, like, you don't want to grab the cheese and then go into the water or else you'll drown. So we're just waiting for him to get us to that cheese, and now we got it. So you can run back to the hole. So it's pretty simple, but you just have to pay a little bit of attention to who's the shaman and like what kind of round it is because that will tell you like when to like run for it and when to stay still. 
So let's just try out one more round and then I will explain shamaning. All right, well, let's just forget about this for now um, and talk about shamaning. All right, so basically, every this is like your points thing. Every time you gather a cheese, you get 10 points or sometimes less. I don't know, it depends on how the round goes. But yeah, so you get more points for every cheese that you gather. And then you basically just crawl up the board by getting more and more points until eventually you're the first person. And when you have the most points, then you become the shaman. Now, the job of the shaman is to help all the other mice get the cheese. So, like, in rounds like this, where there's not enough built into the map, um, when you're the shaman, you have to build stuff that will allow others to get it. So... Um, hmm. well, I'm probably not going to get shaman anytime soon because there's a lot of cheese I need to gather in order for that to happen. So I'm just going to show you how to be the shaman real quick because being the disciple or the mouse that gets the cheese is pretty self-explanatory. But being the shaman can be a little bit tricky. So to practice, um, you go to this little house and you click training. Alright, so... Here is an example of being the shaman. Now, there are, of course, no mice in here, but you are automatically the shaman so that you can practice. So, um, for this one, whenever you walk, um, basically, whenever there's a lot of uh, mice here, when they're walking to the sides, these ends will kind of tip over. So, basically, what you can do is level it out. Um, this thing right here is a weight. So you can press a space bar, and now to spawn it, you click and hold. So that should keep it balanced. Now, the people won't be able to get the cheese because it's up too high. So you have to build a little ramp for them. So what you can do is give it a little anchor by pressing C. And if you press it again, you can move it to the sides. So we're going to move it there. And now you can press X, 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 X to rotate it so that now the people can reach it. Now you click and hold and congrats, you've built a ramp. So now all the mice can jump up this and it takes a minute, but they can get the cheese. Now they can jump down and get into the hole. So before you start this game, it's a good idea to like practice how to do all this stuff. Um, basically, all these different elements will help people get cheese, and you kind of have to just like play around with it and practice. It's kind of hard to get used to it, and it's also kind of tricky because you have to come up with what to do on the spot. But in basically, to shortly explain, to spawn something, you click and you hold it until it appears. So like with these balloons, and people can now jump on these and get up to that hole right there, even though the cheese is over there, but, you know, it's going to be too long to try to explain how to get it. Um, you know, this spark will jump people up, which is pretty helpful. Um, this doesn't really do anything, it just tells people where to stand. This doesn't really do anything either, it kind of just like moves things, but yeah, and then here's your weight. Um, and the one thing I will go over is the anchors. Okay, so, um, if you just press this, it doesn't really do much because then people, like, like, it can move really easily, like that. So, um, when you're making these planks, you'll want to make them stable by pressing B and also C. Okay, let's grab this again, C. That also helps them be more stable. And now it won't really fall as much. Although the C one sort of falls a little bit. But if you want to stabilize it, you can add a little weight there. Now, um, yeah, so this is... I will do a more full tutorial on shamaning some other time. But because this is a simple tutorial and you're not going to be the shaman too, too often, I'm just going to stop and now explain the rooms. Okay. So, basically, each of these rooms is a different kind of game you can play. Transfer mice rooms are, um, 
you know, they have maps that have been made by other players. So I wouldn't recommend this when you're starting out because some of them are weird and kind of hard to do. Vanilla rooms are the best things for players starting out because they have all maps made by game creators, so they're a little bit easier and they make more sense. Um, survivor rooms are basically where the shaman, um, you know, the one mouse with the powers to make all these things, um, actually, instead of saving the other mice, has to kill the other mice, so you have to be the last one to survive. Racing, I mean, I haven't, okay, I haven't really done many of these rooms, but, you know, racing is just, well, racing, <laughs> and music, you have, like, music playing in the background, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, boot camp, these are all, like, super hard maps, so definitely would not recommend that starting out. And, yeah, you... Well, they also have like little descriptions down here, so you can read these and see if they're what you want. But starting out, vanilla is definitely the best. So now that you've clicked vanilla, you can choose a room. Um, the room names don't really matter, but you want to pay attention to the number of mice. Basically, uh, no room that has less than 12 mice uh Nothing you do in a room that has less than 12 mice counts. So, like, if you get the cheese in first, um, or if you, like, save other mice, or just get the cheese in general, like, that doesn't count towards your stats, which are right here. So, like, you don't really want to go into a room that has less than, uh, hang on, opening all kinds of stuff. You don't want to go to a room that has less than 12 mice. Um, but you don't want to... When you're starting out, you don't want to go to a really crowded room either because it's really competitive and it's like, I don't know, it's sometimes like hard to get to be the shaman or to get the cheese first, etc. So um, a good balance is like a room in the teens when you're starting out because usually they're less competitive. So let's try vanilla 001. And yeah, now this, um, once this round is over, we will officially be in the game. And I already showed you a couple of rounds, but we'll just do one more here because before we were in transfer mice rooms I believe alright so this is what's called a sham battle like sometimes there will be two shamans and they have to like compete to try to save the mice um, because like the more mice you save like the more you level up and stuff sometimes they'll kill each other but sometimes they'll be nice and help each other of course this person was not very nice and they killed the other shaman but Oh, I guess I just died. All right, that's cool. Yeah, this <laughs> this game is really frustrating sometimes because you're completely reliant on one or two mice to like help you get the cheese, and that can be either really good or really bad because sometimes they'll like not know what they're doing or like sometimes they'll just mess around with people and like <sighs> knock everyone down and kill people. But yeah. But it's still pretty fun, and it's kind of fun to watch everyone get mad and scream in the chat. Alright, so we've kind of gone over the basics um, of how to get the cheese and how to be the shaman. So now I'm just going to talk about all this stuff right here. <clears throat> so this is your friends list, which is very important to Animal Jam people. <laughs> um, Alright, so to add a friend, you type in their username. So Romney Moon is the username to my main transfer mice account, so let's do add friend. And then they will appear on your friends list. And you don't get to follow them unless they add you back. But you know, you can still like stalk them, I guess, when they're on there. <laughs> and um you can also marry people, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um yeah, if you want to you can like if you want to, you can send them a message. When they're online, you can whisper to them, which makes you like basically um, able to privately chat them um, but yeah you can also view their profile so this um this is your tribe um, tribes are not really important right now because when you're starting out it's like uh, basically the tribe is just like it's just like a group of mice and like they work together sort of I don't even know exactly how tribes work it's kind of confusing like I don't know it's basically just like a group and you guys can all talk and stuff and like and it's it's more of a social thing it doesn't really have anything to do with the game so like I wouldn't worry about tribes right now so 
course, this is the chat. Um, you can expand it pressing this plus button, and yes, yeah, sometimes there are uh, bad words. Um, this is not exactly like Animal Jam. There is pretty much total free chat, although I do think that you can get in trouble for swearing. I'm not really sure how that works, but yeah, so if um, you're not really allowed to go on games that use bad words, then this might not be the best game to play, but it's usually not too bad. Um, so yeah, you can like scroll up and then like press this down button if you're up too far and you can like type, hey guys, oops, guys. Um, yeah, and it, I don't know, the chat is pretty funny in here, but yeah, you can see what everyone says, but yeah. Um, so now uh, we can go to the menu, but you don't really need to go to the menu, you can just um, basically get everything here. So now let's talk about the shop. All right. So um, I'm just gonna compare this to Animal Jam real quick. Um, it's basically like that, you know, store you can buy items, put them on your mouse. Cheese, uh, it's cheese is your main currency. It's like the in-game thing, like gems would be on Animal Jam, I guess. Um, it's kind of hard to earn. You only get one for every cheese that you get in the hole, so it takes a while to get cheese. So I'd be careful before you buy stuff. Um, make sure it's really what you want. And for now, let's just buy a little flower, and I'll just show you how to put that on. So now I can go to own items and press equip, and then it will show up on your mouse. Um, yeah, you can just scroll through here, see what you want. Um, some stuff does cost phrases. Phrases um, cost real money, so it's like basically paying real money for these items. It's essentially one penny per phrase or strawberry um yeah so like this would be like 40 cents um yeah yeah you i don't know i haven't bought any phrases but like i sometimes trade animal jam items for phrases because cheese is like really hard to earn so yeah then i got some and i would like get some furs and stuff like that but yeah you know the shop isn't really that important to the game so i'm not gonna go into details about it but if you did want to buy phrases, you would just click this button. Um, yeah, so now we can go to our inventory. So this is kind of hard to explain, but okay, see this little egg right here? Um, this is just an example. Um, basically, whenever there's a holiday, they'll like put out little gifts right here, and when you collect them, you get items in your inventory. And it doesn't really do anything, it just like, like for example, these fireworks, you press use, and then a little firework appears in the game. So they don't really do a whole lot. Like sometimes it will like turn you into a bunny or a milk carton for this Easter one. Um, you can like throw stuff at people, like throw chickens and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, it, again, it's it's not really that important. It just makes little things appear in the game, but it's kind of fun, I guess. Um, yeah, so there's your inventory. Um, the map editor, uh, this is basically for creating maps. I don't really think you'll need to use this as a beginner, so we'll do exit. So then you have your skills. Now basically, whenever you level up, you get a skill point, and you can use these points to buy special skills that you can use to shaman with. So you kind of have to scroll over like kind of hover over to see what each skill does like for this um, whenever you're the shaman it makes the cheese bigger so let's say you want to buy that and now whenever you're the shaman the cheese is a little bit bigger so more mice will be able to get it and that way you can get more saves and it's really good to save as many mice as you can because that also makes your level increase Oh my goodness, there is a lot to talk about with this game, but yeah, hopefully this is making sense to you guys. Um, this, again, is not really important when you're starting out. I would wait until you kind of understand the game before you spend all your points because, like, you have to spend cheese to redistribute them. But yeah, this all this stuff is just for shamaning and helping you save more mice. Um, now we can... Okay, so training... I think we already went over training. Yeah, this is just to help you shaman. Um, okay, so this is pretty important. Um, 
like okay unlike animal jam you don't have like a parent dashboard but you do have an email address connected to your account so that you can change your password and this will also let you buy phrases and gift items to people so once you make your account um, or once you decide that this is something you might like you are going to want to register your email and this is pretty self-explanatory and you also get 40 cheese for doing this which is pretty good so yeah you're definitely going to want to register your email and I'm not going to do that now because this is just an example account so other than that um, you know there's nothing else really to explain um, yeah we kind of already got into rooms um, I guess I can sort of talk about these little things um, you know you can dance, laugh, cry, bob, kisses at people. Um, yeah, these are just like little actions. Um, if you want to do faces, you just press um, the numbers on at the top, like one. Um, okay, wait, since we're shamming, we can't do that. Um, let's go to a vanilla room. Wait for this to be over. Actually, wow, this round is taking forever. Okay. Let's go to a smaller one. Okay, yeah, good. There's not too much time left for this. And I will show you how to do the faces, which is pretty cute. Um, yeah, in the meantime, these are the settings. So that just, you know, also pretty self-explanatory. Um, help, which is, yeah. Um, the forum. Okay, so, yeah, we're not going to get into the forum right now. Um. And yeah, I'm not even entirely sure what this is. You don't really even need that for the game. Alright, so apparently, um, hang on, let's just wait for this to end. Okay, so yeah, you can press the little, like, numbers to do faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Um, lastly, let me just go over the profile. Okay, so this profile is basically like everything about you, all your accomplishments and everything. So let's just change our gender right there. So our level is two. You level up every time you get a piece of cheese or save mice. Um, so you get titles when you level up too. So like these are kind of random. Um, they're not really important. They, they just like show up under your username. So this is like your shaman accomplishments. This shows how many mice you've saved, how many cheeses you've gathered while you're the shaman. Um, and it's actually kind of hard to gather cheese when you're the shaman because you can't like enter the hole until after all the other mice are dead or have gotten cheese. Um, these are your accomplishments when you're a regular mouse, also known as a disciple. Um, how many pieces of cheese you've gathered first. Um, on my main account, I have really not gathered that many pieces of cheese first. This is actually pretty hard. Like, it's pretty competitive. Um, people beat you by, like, fractions of a second. Yeah, your total gathered cheese. And this is, like, I guess how much you've survived on boot camp. Not, haven't really done that much with boot camp, but, you know. Then just, like, other accomplishments. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's about it for now, guys. In later tutorials, I will be doing more about shamaning and, like, I will show you how to wall jump and that kind of thing, because, like, wall jumping is pretty important, but it's kind of hard to get the hang of. Um, it's basically, like, it allows you to climb up walls like this, but, like, I, like, cannot do it when I was first starting out. It's, like, actually pretty hard. Um, yeah, so my advice to you is if you are confused at all by this game, just like go into a little vanilla room and try your hardest to get the cheese. Um, feel free to ask questions in the chat and like hopefully some people will be nice and answer you. <laughs> and um, Yeah, just like you kind of have to learn this by doing it and I tried to go over as much as I could but it's pretty, um, there's like a lot to it but it becomes much easier once you start playing it. So yeah, just like chill in these rooms, you know, maybe buy a couple things and yeah. That's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and maybe you'll give this game a try. Bye.